Let's start with a straight up short VXX position, because when people think about shorting volatility, in a lot of cases, this is the one they default to. So you can see the risk profile here, and it is a direct one-to-one -one relationship to the price of the VXX. If it goes down a dollar, then you make a dollar, and if it goes up a dollar, then you lose a dollar. This is the most direct way to short volatility. Unfortunately, it's also one of the riskiest, and this is not a trade that I ever use in my own portfolio. I could talk all day long about the disadvantages of why you should never use these, but let's talk about one advantage that it does have. When you short the VXX directly, you're not subject to any of the option Greeks at all. So Delta, Theta, Vega, all of these affect all of the other trades we're going to talk about today. But short VXX positions aren't options. This makes this trade very easy, and you don't have to worry about the level of volatility in the market. If you think the VXX is going down, well, you can just short those shares. But there are many disadvantages here. First, there's big fees involved because you're borrowing shares to short, and it's not cheap. This is many multiples more expensive than standard trade fees for some of the other option trades, so this is always a major headwind. Second, they're not always available to borrow. You might think you've got a great trade setup that you want to jump in on, but if there's no shares to borrow, then what does it matter? Third, you can have your shares called away on you at any time, so you're not really in control of your own trade. Plus, you should know that the time where they are most likely to get called away on you is when you least want them to be. Probably it's going to be when you're doing damage control on a trade that isn't going well, and you might want a little extra time to fix your trade, but you're not going to be able to because the shares get called away on you. And lastly, and probably the biggest reason here, when you short shares, you have unlimited loss. We're talking about volatility ETFs here. They can spike up hundreds of percent, maybe 1,500, 2,000% if you're talking about the UVXY. Why on earth would anybody trade unlimited loss when one flash crash will wipe out your portfolio? It makes no sense. So please understand, it's a terrible idea to short the volatility ETPs directly. There's one advantage and many disadvantages. Just don't do it.